highest mountain was one woman and two acres. And I got a bunch of buckets. I was so excited. And I got boxes so I can lay them out on my property and kill all the grass and the weeds and the everything. So I've got to clean out a bunch of buckets. And the frosting and everything else on them. You never know. I know. I love you too. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get busy. Uh, looks like there's some kind of chocolate or something in here. You can see it on the lid. Ooh. Okay. Let's power wash. It helps to turn on the water, however. <laughs> Okay, the water's on. <laughs> well, this had chocolate icing in it. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first thing you do is clean out the inside of the big chunk. <laughs> Once you get most of it out, <sighs> this is pretty clean. So not to waste soap. Never been caught so bloody much these days. Hurry, get out of it. Let this truck get out. That's chocolate. You may not eat it. Get out, goofball. Look at this. I'm getting soaked. Okay. Will you look at the color of that icing? I mean, that. And look at this. Herbie thinks he's died and gone to heaven, of course. Yeah. All right. They're not fooling around. Ugh. I've got, I also have, I don't know, Rocky Road or something and vanilla frosting. Of course. Ugh. Yeah. Nothing like straight sugar. Ooh. try hydroponics and I'm going to try the Dutch bucket method you can imagine what a mess I'm making <laughs> um, so let's get going on it this sounds like fun <laughs> first what you'll need is a bucket this is a five gallon bucket you do a hole about that far <laughs> I don't know two and a half three inches whatever up from the bottom because you've got to remember we're doing an elbow inside and outside. I'm up about yay far, and I do it right here. This is a one-inch spade bit. So, you tool guys, prepare yourself. Works every time. Um, when you're drilling into something plastic, uh, drill forward and then put it in reverse and keep pressure on it and then put it back into forward and out it comes. The interesting part is getting the grommet in and then the half inch pipe through, which is what I'm using. Don't ask me the size of this grommet. I asked for a half inch. Uh, one inch, and I ended up with something. I don't know what. Okay. Now, if you have um, concrete around you, which I do not, I have trees, and they're not very, you know, raspy. Um, rub this, um, your pipe, one end of it, 
rub it on the concrete to get it um, kind of tapered down. I can't do that. Trees don't appreciate me doing this to them. So I have to use a rasp. So while I'm rasping, why don't you go get yourself some iced tea and go and enjoy yourself because this is boring and dumb and I hate it. And I wish I had concrete. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to try it like that. Last time I tried to do it like this, I had to go back and do it some more. Now, this struggle, you have to do this without the grommet going through. Yeah, right. Oh. Nope, nope, don't go through. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, it went through. Okay, well, I'm going to struggle with this. Now, you have to hold the grommet with the other hand inside because it will splat through like that. <clears throat> oh. This is very aggravating. It can be done. You're going to argue with it and argue with it and argue with it. I'm slapping at a bug, sorry. You are going to argue with this. But I've already done two and they finally went in so, it can be done. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> See, it can be done. Now, it's a very tight fit. Now, these I made longer because they're going to be in the back. Like that. Okay, so you've got the, um, the pipe through. And you put the elbow on and point it down just like that. Do the other side the self same way. And you have a Dutch bucket. Well, almost. <laughs> Next is putting rock in those buckets. I have two smaller buckets. I'm putting the rocks inside of the uh, cup to clean them. There's just a lot of dust and so that's what I'm doing now. This is the rock I'm using. It's like a, it's been fired and it's extremely light. That's it dry. And this wet. And it's absolutely wonderful stuff. It's very lightweight. So I can carry the buckets around by myself, yay, without having to use a dolly. After I clean it, I dump it into the bucket. Let's check for leaks. Something other than my hose. <coughs> Shut up. Why are you barking? Clear tubing. What I'm going to do is measure it down to here. Yeah, okay. And cut it. There. Put my thumb down in here. 
coconut coir, which is, it comes in a block. Don't tell, otherwise the price keeps going up. Um, I get my coconut coir in bricks like this. It comes in a pack of three, and I mean, it takes little or nothing to make a lot of coconut coir. Right? I had a little bit in there, and this. Um, that ought to do most of it. I'll probably have to do more. But um, what I'm going to do is start putting coconut coir into my Dutch bucket system. <laughs> well, let's turn on some water and let it soak. So, there's my coconut coir, which took about maybe five minutes to soak up all that water. Okay, now what I have are Hale's Best Jumbo Melons. And I'm going to put uh, two seeds of this. Come on. In here. There you go. Enough of that. And I'm going to put in here a tomato plant. A nice root system on it. Isn't it? in there and get it in. Okay. So, melon seeds, tomato plants. We'll see who the best plant is. Okay, the moment of truth is to see if it works. Ooh, shot up there. And it's coming through! Yahoo! is awesome. Well, that part worked. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to unplug it at the house, but because my timer is two prong and two two prong in and out, and so I can't make it work with the three prong system for this. Unless I do a lot of jimmying and figuring, so I'll have to figure it out. Oh, look, it's coming out too. Oh, yay. Isn't this wonderful? Yes, indeed. It finally hit that situation, at the, sorry, that level, and it's coming out. I'm so happy. I can't stand it. Awesome. So, it works. Yay! Okay. It's the next day. <clears throat> I just want to, I want to see if it still works. Get out. I want to see if it still works. <laughs> Not that it that isn't moist enough. Go. And it's up. And it goes. And out it goes. Out of both of them. Yay. <laughs> That's so cool. Whoosh. And back it goes. I'll let you see what I did. I cut the, um, the, the tubing. And I had got a T, and I cut the jubing again, and went off to both the buckets, and it works. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's so wonderful. I have one more time. <laughs> that is so fun. 
Isn't it wonderful when something you tried, you worked at, you having a fit, and it works for you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> it makes you feel so wonderful. And I won't have to um, water it very often because the coconut coir really holds water. I mean, it's still rather damp from just putting it in, and that was yesterday. So, um, that's my the beginning of my Dutch bucket system. It's just kind of going back into buckets, but no big deal. Anyway, as you can see, I'm off on another project. I'm, I'm painting. But I wanted to finish this to wrap this up, because it took several days of, of working things and jimmying things around, and but I finally got it to work. Such a simple thing. <laughs> it took forever. <laughs> but I did get it done, and the sense of accomplishment is wonderful. So, I wanted to say thanks for stopping by, and to have a good day. I know I will. <laughs> I'll be elated over this for a while. <laughs> so maybe I'll show you me painting in another video. Oh, man. <laughs> in the meantime, this is Mel with One Woman and Two Acres. Y'all have a blessed day.